Hello guys and welcome to the Aquarium. Thank you for joining me today. You know, normally I wait for it to stop raining before starting recording, but we're going to spend most of our time under the water, so does it matter if I get wet? Not really. So uh, today I've got a good feeling about today's episode. don't know why, I just have. Uh, so I'm really glad that you, uh, you've decided to come and join me for it. Now, our Ichthys are back. We've got them back. Now, if you saw a few episodes ago, uh, they all mysteriously died for no apparent reason these four in here. So I've got more back. We've got Lana, we've got William, we've got uh, Sana, and we have uh, uh, Yao. Uh, yeah, so they're all back. So I think what happened is they swam over this way, they stuck their heads through here, and then because there's no um, there's no water, that's the word I'm looking for, there's no water on the other side of this, they then died. I think that must have been what happened. I, I can't I really don't know what else would have done it. So what I've done is I've uh, repositioned uh, the um, the waypoints, the uh, the flags, for them to swim around in, and uh, they're not that shouldn't happen again. We shall see. We shall see whether they survive. Uh, so I've also done a little bit more naming. Now, if you are sort of fairly new to the series and you never really saw the Shredder Zoo series that I did last year, you may not realise, but um, I, I like to name the uh, the animals here after uh, people in the, who leave comments in the comment section. Um, now, um, this series, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of, I'm selecting names at random from the comment section of people who have left, like, nice comments or people who comment regularly. Um, so, so not necessarily, like, asking, you know, don't sort of say, you know, I want something named after me. Well, I'm just picking names out um, from people who comment regularly or leave leave a nice or interesting or funny or just, you know, whatever comment. Um, and so we're going to be doing some names uh, today. So I've already done it. I'll show you at the moment. So first thing I've done... I've improved the the tunnel section. Um, so I had stairs going down here, but then, of course, last episode I discovered that these these uh, sloped vacuum compartments go upside down from the SBUS uh, mod, and uh, we can actually have, like, a ramp. It's a very st steep ramp. Um, be a little bit dodgy, I think, but, uh, you know, it, it's fine. So I've actually frozen them so that uh, they're solid, uh, because I want, when you get down here, we can see the, do the donkeys there are swimming around. We'll have a look at those in a moment. So uh, yeah, this is the kind of solid floor because I want the impact when you get to this point to be you know more amazing. So you come down here, you can come down here and look at the the donkeys. Now I've named the donkeys. Let's see if we can actually see what we have. We have uh, Layla. Have I spelled that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, yeah, uh, Layla and Claudia. Uh, Giovanantham. I hope I've uh, print. I may have pronounced it wrong. I do apologise if I have. Uh, but yeah, but both these people, um, presuming they're sisters, possibly, um, who both left comments on various videos and uh, they leave nice comments. So um, I thought we have a pair of donkeys. That would be a really good name. To have them. Um, I'm, I'm assuming sisters. I, I, I don't know. Layla and Claudia. So uh, there you go. Um, I think they uh, enjoyed the donkey episode. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, there you go. That's your reward for leaving nice comments. So that's the donkeys. And we've also got them wandering now. Got them following a pattern, following the waypoints in here. Um, and the game... Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I think we've crashed. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, and I'm back. Okay. <laughs> oh man, these videos take long enough to make without having to deal with the, the game crashing all the time. But yeah, anyway, they're, they're the donkeys. Uh, the sisters there and they are swimming around following the waypoints that's what I was saying before oh that's pretty awesome they come right underneath oh that's incredible yeah I haven't really actually watched them to see how they uh, follow the, um, the, uh, the the waypoints but it looks pretty pretty awesome I've never actually finished hmm I thought I'd finish the uh, the cage getting rid of all the uh, things there but obviously I didn't we'll come back to that later anyway but there we go they look pretty awesome. Right, let's go on to what we did last week, and that was to do the Megalodon Tunnel. And that is all the way down at the bottom, because I've got a couple more names to do before we start on today's building. So here's the Megalodon Tunnel, and there we go. We have the Slashmaster101, left some really nice comments last time out. Um, Tristan Chu, uh, often comments on the videos. We have Josh McGovern, uh, who always leaves nice comments on the videos. And we have Apophis Gaming. Who, uh, who was also a regular commenter. So thank you to those four. Um, thanks for sort of you know, following along with the channel and the series for uh, quite some time and leaving lots of comments every, every video. Uh, yeah, so if you uh, if you want anything named after yourselves in the future, um, uh, please don't ask for it because I will just um, I'll have to say no. Um, so just just leave nice comments. That's all you need to do. Just be a regular commenter uh, or leave something nice. You know, if you if you're brand new to the channel, uh, you know, make sure you say hi. 
and uh, you are possibly likely to get yourself uh, a dino or well, not all dinosaurs but you know a creature named after you but anyway today it's building anglerfish that's what we're doing now if you'll notice in between the uh, the donkey exhibit up here and the Meglon tunnel down there there's quite a long tunnel uh, we don't want our visitors to uh, the aquarium to uh, have to wander too far without seeing anything good so I think what we'll do is we will put a branch coming off of this point and the anglerfish enclosure will be uh, there I guess <laughs> we'll do it out here so uh, we've got, got out we can uh, what do you want to do we want to open up open it of course we're going to flood the tunnels again but we come out here and uh, yeah so about this kind of area is where we shall add an, an extra branch basically so let's put a gun away and we'll start building so we're going to come out I guess like that. I don't know how far. We won't need to go to too big. That's a mistake I made because originally the uh, the donkey enclosure was going to be the anglerfish enclosure. But after I built this thing, uh, it was kind of huge and I was like, the anglerfish are going to get lost in there. So um, anglerfish are obviously a lot smaller. Uh, it looks like it's got... Fuck it, I still haven't disabled the fog on this server. Oh, I must do that. It's driving me crazy. Uh, anyway, oh, hello, rocketfish. Uh, right, so let's, let's start building. Uh, so we're going to come out this way. It's probably... Probably big enough, do you think? I'm wondering. And I'm wondering whether we should go... I'll tell you what I could have done. Let's see if we can get this done. So if I build out... Um, yeah, this way. Maybe we can actually come out this way without crashing into... Because if I go one more, we'll be going right into the rock there. How will that work? Oh, that, that comes out too far, I think, there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll be getting rock right in there. That looks quite good, but I think as further along we go... Yeah, the more it comes. So, okay, forget that. It's worth trying these things. We'll get rid of that one. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll go along this way. There's no reason why we can't have like an extra large... It doesn't have to be one one corridor. We could have a double wide corridor, I guess. Uh, we'll have to see how it looks like from the inside. But I think we'll come up to about this far. And then... Uh, we've got some nice... Oh yeah, we're right down on the floor again here. So yeah, we want it slightly higher up. That looks that looks fine. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just we'll build it right here. Um, okay, so I'm going to get the walls out and let's uh, see... I am tempted actually, you know what, to to uh, get rid of these ones. And do have it as a single, a single walkway. Yeah, okay, so let's open up that corridor and have a look from the inside. Let's kind of see what we're working with here. So let's open up this, and then open up all these down here. Another one, and that comes to the end. Yep, there we go. And then, yeah, so we can have the anglerfish just at this point. I think that's probably all we need. Uh, again, I could freeze the bottom, or I could leave it open. Well, we'll see. What, once, once we start building it, we'll see how that looks. So let's just uh, quick dive in here, grab my walls. We want these. Um, what else are we going to want? Uh, do we want... Large ones. Large ones, probably not this time. Depends on whether we get things going upside down or not, like we did last time. Let's get the ceilings out. We'll want those. That's possibly all we'll need. Let's have a, let's have a quick look here. If I try and put the ceiling on, does it go to the top or the bottom? It does go to the bottom, and the, oh, it goes to the both of them as well. So I think... I'm not too sure. Because if you saw the last episode, we were having issues with... Um, Things being placed upside down it actually helped out because we could actually you then use uh, these large glass walls which only snap to the bottom of things. But let's see, if I try to put a railing in, there we go. So the railings, yeah, so these are upside down. So that's we need to take that into account as we build. Um, well, what we could do then? Do we want to drop down? Let's get the large glass walls out. You can see that I don't plan my builds at all. I just make it up as we go along. Uh, large glass wall, and then that was the extra large. You don't want the extra large. Now these large ones are four walls um, deep. So if we stick this in, that should then... Oh yeah, of course, they don't snap, do they? Uh, these large walls, they don't snap to um, vacuum compartments at all. So what do I just do? Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Uh, this one we want. So if I do out this way then that should snap uh, where is it number six there we go so now it snaps to there so we come down that far 
I think that would work. I don't, we definitely don't need to come down any further than that. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that will work. Oh, I'm tempted. Oh, I've got us. Okay, let's start building and uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, yeah, slight change of plan. What I did is I just built out some seedlings coming off the top and I'm dropping down the, uh, the four high walls from there. So it's not quite so far down. Um, and I think this is going to be a decent size. I think what I might do is, is in a moment, I'll just build some, a few more walls. Just kind of show you what I'm doing here, like this. Um, and I'll spawn in uh, a couple of uh, anglerfish and just kind of see how the the size looks before we get too too far into it. Um, but yeah, but then this will be it. And then what I'll do is I will then get the uh, the ceilings again. Uh, not those, not those, those. Uh, and they, they snap off from the bottom. And we can actually put in the, the floor there um, as well. So like that. And then what we'll do is we can put some uh, decorations in. Some plants, the rocks and things along the bottom. Kind of give it a bit of a, a floor feeling to it. Um, and that doesn't look too bad a size. Now the question is, do we want to come out maybe one more, make it a little bit larger? Um, so uh, let me just uh, tell you what, I'll spawn one in right now. Let's have a look. Um, let me just, I'll have to look through my little list. You, you can't see this, but I can. Uh, here we go, anglerfish. There we go. So let's just see, let's make sure it's not following. That actually looks like a decent, decent size. Or do we want one more maybe? I think I'm going to go out one more because I think as it gets to this point it's going to be quite thin. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go out one more. So we can come out this way like that. Yeah, so we'll get rid of these ones. And that. So yeah, one more row of ceilings. We'll just come along like this. I love using creator mode. It's so, it's so easy. Yeah, if you're into the, if you're doing single player or you're on a creative server or something, definitely recommend using the uh, the uh, creative mode. Really speeds things up. Really, really does. Okay, let's get a few of these walls on, and we'll see how this looks. A couple more. Oh, that was the wrong place. Like that. Let's uh, get rid of this one. Yeah, that looks like a, that's a decent size. I think that'll be pretty good. Alright, let's get a few more of these on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off building this one. I think actually we can probably get uh, this enclosure done pretty quickly. We've got a few uh, decorations to do. Like that. Um, yeah, it's not going to take me too long at all. I'll start doing the at the bottom here. Uh, and you're going to get some walls on this side, so I, that might be an issue. Let's just get these in and we'll see, let's just see how we need to uh, to deal with this. And then, of course, we have this side to do as well. I, can't, I guess... No, I will. I, I was going to say, maybe I could do it so they swim underneath, but then there's only going to be a small gap. And I'll probably freeze the bottom of that floor, so no, I won't go underneath. But what I will do, I guess what I could do is maybe just build up from here. Will that work? Can I get another one? Oh, God, look at all these snap points. That's not right. Oh, no, that's going to be a disaster. What about... What might be easier is just to drop it down off there first. I think that would be uh, slightly easier. So there's a bit of a gap, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. I think that'll work. Okay, so let me fill the rest in and uh, I'll, I'll bring you back once I've done that. Alright, here we go. So this is it. Uh, this would be that enclosure. I think it's a decent size. Maybe four, I reckon three anglerfish. Um, we'll probably, yeah, I, I think that'd be good. So what we're going to do is, as we get to, so this is the tunnel down. I wanted this open so you could kind of see the view. But at this point here, what we're going to do is we're going to freeze the floor. Or do we want to? That will restrict the view a little bit. Ooh, I will, I'll definitely freeze the ceiling. So let's do that now. I'm wondering about the uh, the view because obviously you can look through the floor and you kind of see look at that as uh, you can kind of see underneath if they're swimming around there. I mean, you don't get a huge view, but you do. I think you would get a bit of a view. So let's um, uh, unfreeze. Oh well, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I've uh, drained the water. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Open mode. Open that. 
unfreeze there we go that one and that one there we go yeah so the, these vacuum compartments you have to be really careful where you point this gun because uh, things will go wrong if you're not too careful okay so what we're going to need to do is change the models of the glass to um look a bit better like we did in the other ones to so make them a much bigger panels open like that so i will i'll do that off camera because that is incredibly boring and tedious and takes a long long time to do uh and then what we're going to do we're going to decorate this place we're going to get rocks and corals and things put on the floor um i th think that would be good i think that would be good okay let me do that i'll see you in a bit okay guys wow well, that took an incredibly long time to get this how I wanted it. It's uh, really complicated trying to work out where you want corners and which size you want, uh, you know, side A, side B. Uh, it's really difficult, but we did it in the end. Oh, I did it in the end. I did it. Uh, well, I'm going to put transparency in a little while, I think. But first of all, actually, no, no, you know what? I, I need to do that first before I start messing up things. I'll show you what I want. Uh, let's swap it out for this one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in a transparency of about that. That shouldn't be too bad. And these are quite, these are the large windows. So that shouldn't take too long to do. Just so that we get that sheen. Um, I always kind of do this with the, with the windows. Because otherwise it looks like there's nothing there. And it can, um, gives kind of a false impression that, that it's just a, a few bars. And they can swim out of it, so we need to kind of uh, do that. Oh yeah, and I've also spawned in um, some anglerfish. I've got three now. Uh, look at this one, this yellow one. That looks great. Um, so we give this machine, so we can kind of tell that the it is glass. Uh, we do this. I think we've done that one. No. So it shouldn't take too long to do this. Are oh, so difficult <laughs> under the water. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to uh, to build underwater. It's quite. It's very challenging this series, I have to say, to try and. Uh, adapt to, to building underwater. If anyone's ever tried it, uh, you'll know it is really not very easy at all. But it's good fun. It's good fun. It's, it's really nice when you when you do something difficult. It is such a rewarding uh, experience once you've uh, you've finished and um, you know that you did a good job or you hope you've done a good job. Um, and it's very it's very rewarding. Um, and I hope you kind of feel the same about this. So anyway, we're almost done. It shouldn't take too long and it will start sticking in the corals on the bottom. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, hopefully I haven't missed any. It can be very easy to kind of miss a few panels and you notice it later and it, it kind of, it can bug you. But I think, I think that looks good. I think, oh, we missed a couple here. Here we go. Here we see, we almost missed some. And this row here. And these, oh, there's loads we missed. My God. There we go. I think that must be it now. Lots of clicking going on. Yeah, okay, there we go. So th that looks like uh, we have... Oh, oh, I see some. There we go. We got it. We got them. Oh, God, there's more! <laughs> uh, it's because it's just very slight. It's very easy to, to, to miss. Here we go. We're almost done. There. That's, that's one there. Oh, we've got more up here. And I think I spotted one there. Right, you have to let me know if I miss any, but I think... Oh god, there's loads. Must have done them all. That looks it now. I think we're done. There you go, that looks good. Right, so what we're going to do is, let's get... Um, now we've got all the corals done. Let's do this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, right, we'll uh, try and fill up this place with some coral. Because we want it to look a kind of a you know as natural a seafloor as possible. We're going to have some uh, issues uh, with the glass being. You can see the glass at the bottom, but we're not going to be able to do it completely. Um, but I think doing things like this should should look good enough. Well, that's going to be little. Let's put in more bigger ones. This was a big one. Let's fill this up in the corner here. Yeah, that's good. And then we can get some smaller ones. Let's put in this one. Uh, where can we fit this one? Around the corner. Do it in this point here. Oh, that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. And then what we'll do is we can use... Uh, we've got some smaller ones to fill in some gaps. And we've also oh, we've got this one. I haven't put any of these ones in yet. Let's put one in there. Uh, I think over here would be good for this one. Yep, 
and then let's use some of this to fill in some of the uh, the other gaps. In a few of these like that. Uh, a few more of those. And over this side. There we go. Yeah, so you just kind of dot them around randomly. Should look good. We can put in a few of these as well. I like the uh, the Myra bushes. They're good. We'll just uh, dot these around the place. And I've also, I might try to see if I put some rocks in here as well. Mostly the corals do the job. We don't need too many rocks because, you know, basically these are quite rocky. Uh, but they do have those kind of um, scattering of uh, that sort of rock cluster, which I like to use a lot. Um, they really kind of break up some empty spaces. So we'll, we'll probably maybe try and find a space for some of those as well. I'll try and put a few in the, this kind of place here. And got a few more here. Oh, they look really good. I like. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Over here, right. Uh, so also, what haven't we done yet? I haven't done the number five slot. So they've got these little tall corals here. They're called tall corals, but compared to some of the things, they're not actually that tall. That's fine. We we'll, we like those. We'll put some more in here, like that. Right. That looks pretty good. Let's just stick in one over here. Oh, that looks good. I'm liking that. Okay, let me just see. I don't know if I've got actually space for it now, but where am I? These are the ones I like. Let's just stick that on the number one slot. So let's have a look. Uh, oh, that could actually look pretty good there. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. I like them. One of my favourite favorite rock clusters. Another one there. To be honest here, I think that's probably it. Unless we can fit one in kind of here. Actually, they kind of look good because they they get buried by the uh, the corals and stuff, and then they just they serve a really good purpose, just filling in the gaps like that. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, I think we're almost done. There's not really much more we need to do for this. Uh, what I want to do now is to be able to put in a bit of a uh, uh, a way, some waypoints so that these uh, fish can swim around. So let's see. Let's put one over. Okay, we'll we'll start it here. That's going to be the start. Now I think let's just experiment a bit here. We'll change this to a height weight. Oops, change this to a height waypoint. How high? That actually works perfectly. That is not too high. Uh, I was wondering, you know, that might actually have gone outside of the the enclosure, but it hasn't. So that's brilliant. So we'll switch to the the ground waypoint back again, and we'll start adding in a few more. Now I think we'll probably just have them go pretty much in a circle or, or a square. So we'll come up to say about here, add another one to go this way to about here I would say and add another one. Now that's just going to be the problem. Can we actually get any in? Uh, here we go to there and then let's just have a look. See so if we can do this and we'll visualize the route. Here we go. So let's go this way I would like one more, one more on this side. So we can add the waypoint there. Is it going to be? Oh yes, we can. Let's get this to about there. There, that looks good. So they're just going to circle the tank. Yeah, that does that does look good. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll we'll now start changing them to some of them to be height. So we'll change that to a height waypoint, so they can go up. So hopefully they're not going to glitch through the wall at this point. So it does come quite close, but we'll see once they start uh, going. I think maybe these ones need, all need to be height waypoints because uh, then they'll be swimming past the window at the perfect height for the viewers. Yeah, that's going to be good. We'll change that. Change this one to a height one as well, and then they can then swim down to the bottom. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be good. As long as this may be a little bit too close and they might kind of glitch through the wall, but we'll, we'll see. Let's see, can we get this one to, is he close enough? No, okay, so you follow me. Come a little bit closer over this way. And you can now start patrolling and let's just see where he goes. Let's uh, get this one to come out of the way. He might be stuck on there. 
There we go. Uh, we'll get you to start patrolling as well. Oh, that looks good. I think that's going to be okay. And then you need to follow me. Get over to the start. You have to get them over to the, the start flag. And then we'll start you... Oh, yep. Yeah. Start patrolling. That looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, change these uh, flags to rocks. We'll have to. I don't think I can change the balloons. I can change them to kites, but that obviously would be even uh, less... Um, <laughs> even less appropriate. There we go. So we'll do... Oh no, what have I done? That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, switch the ground. That was not what I meant to do. Oh, oh out of the way. Oh god, they were going to gang up on each other now. Go on. Oh, don't get stuck, please. Oh, they got stuck. Move. Come on, fishy. I can't, I can't push it. Oh no, they're getting stuck. Um... Okay, hold on. If we pause your patrolling. I think I think I got in the way there. Let's move you. Come on. Oh, he's well until he's stuck. Move it. Come on, please. He's trying. Okay, where's the other one gone? Are they all stuck in there? Oh, no. <laughs> they all got stuck. Right, okay, tell you what then, let's, uh, don't think it's going to, oh, I'll tell you what, we can ride them, of course, I forgot you could ride these guys. There we go. No, this one, oh, this one is glitched in, here we go. And we get off. Uh, unfollow, are you going to carry, can we re, yeah, start patrolling. There we go, so that one's gone. Let's, let's ride them off, yeah, I forgot you could ride these guys. Oh, there we go. And I jump off, and he's going to carry on. Oh, brilliant. Okay, they are following each other a little bit. May want to just jump on... If I jump onto this one... There we go. We'll, we'll wait for him. We'll wait for the yellow one to get out of the way. And now we jump off, and he should carry on patrolling. Fantastic. That's what we wanted to do. So quickly, we want to this one. And... No, we don't... We want to type... No. Where is it? Visuals. Change to a stone, that's what we want. Oh no, they are stuck there. They are they do get stuck at that point. Oh that's frustrating. Okay. Well, that's uh oh, what I'll do is I'll change that to a height waypoint there. We'll get you off. And then you are next. Go on. We'll get you over this way, we'll jump off you. And you're stuck as well. Oh actually no, is he going? Oh he's going. Okay, but we are going to oh god. I'm being nudged now. We are going to <laughs> stop doing that. Change, change it to a height waypoint. There we go. So that's going to get them up high. So they shouldn't get stuck in that rock now. That 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 that'd be good. I like that. And then so the OD, so they're all heights apart from that one ground one. And we've changed that to a rock. Perfect. Okay. So now what we want to do is go over to this one. Actually, no. I'm going to have to go over to this one to make changes. As soon as that one, as soon as these are out of the way. <laughs> Come on, guys, move. I've got things to do. I'll do that. Visuals. Hide root. Oh, there we go. And then let's get out of the way. <laughs> let's dive back into here. I think that's going to work. We'll do this. So let's get... Um, let, can I uh, close the porthole? Drain all connected. Here we go. So let's have a look. This is our enclosure. So yes, there are balloons. And for some reason, for some reason it's splashing as I walk around there. No idea why that would be. Drain all connected. That's better. Oh no. Unless it's unless it's the, these guys making the noise, it could well be them guys as they're swimming past making the noise rather than me. Yes, I think it must be them. Yeah, it's them. That's why I thought it was me splashing around, but it's these guys. So there we go. So it looks like that yellow one's actually quite fast. It's kind of catching the other one up and uh, and doing so. But there we go. I think that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, we've got balloons in, but there's nothing I can do about the balloons. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that enclosure. I like that a lot. Okay, let's have a look at the time. We're actually 
think actually we did quite well on, on the timing, so we're pretty much done for this episode. I, th I, I think we'll call that a day. I'm pretty happy with that one. Let's, um, can we get out somewhere and have another look from the outside? Let's open, we can probably get out here actually. Open, we'll flood the compartments again, but let's get outside and have a look. Ah, oh, look at that. There we go. Th we'll try and get a good thumbnail for this one. Brilliant. Okay, well that's going to be all for today. Um, yeah, we, we've done the anglerfish enclosure and I think it looks pretty awesome. And it's kind of in between uh, the uh, the donkeys there. You come down here, you can come out this way, have a look at the anglerfish before going on to the Megalodon Tunnel. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, what do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments section. What do you think of this enclosure? Let me know down below. Um, and uh, yeah, next, next one uh, will probably be as we go out of the Megalodon Tunnel uh, we'll come out there and uh, the next one will be over that in that direction uh, along the sea floor. We can do another tunnel or we can perhaps come up a little bit and I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. But uh, I think that is a really nice little enclosure. Oh, fantastic. Right. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you do. All that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time out. Goodbye.